Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this gorgeous tumbler. There's a few things I wanna tell you. Number one, <clears throat> I filmed a lot of this tutorial in time lapses because there was a lot of tedious steps that I did, but I hope you like this. I made these templates on my iPad. I will provide the link in the description via Dropbox link for you to get these for free. I do wanna let you guys know that this is the kind of stuff we make in Maddie University. I always provide the templates for free, but I really wanted to just kind of give you guys a little piece of what we do in there. This is the second or third tumbler this year already that we've made with templates. This is the other one. Um, that All of that is available in my mentorship group for free download as well as the live classes where you can ask questions in real time and you can also go back and watch all of the replays. So I will post the link in the description in case you guys wanna check out my app and support my channel and me as a creator. It is always appreciated. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought and I'll see you next Saturday. Besitos. The first thing I recommend you doing is measuring your tumbler. I designed my templates six inches in width, 10 inches in height so that you could kind of size it to any tumbler size. I, I, my idea for this design was for them to be half wraps. That's why I made them in those dimensions and not as a full tumbler wrap. So you have a little bit of leeway there to stretch them out and make them match whatever tumbler you're using. I'm using a 30 ounce skinny straight from the Stainless Steel Depot. It's become my favorite style to use. I am making sure that all of my templates are the same size and that they fit perfectly, that everything is gonna align. Please keep in mind that this template that you see me using right now, the floral one, that is the first template I am going to apply because the third and final template is the one that just has the vinyl strip swirls. And so whenever you epoxy over all of this, you're going to come in and add those vinyl strips and you want to make sure that everything lines up and is the exact same size. So just keep that in mind when you're originally sizing your templates. So what I'm doing here is I'm just applying that half wrap. I do recommend that you apply the template with the swirls first. The reason I recommend that is because the size on it needs to be precise because like I mentioned before, you're gonna come back later and add those swirl strips. And if you cut some of this template, you know, you might have issues with sizing and all of that. However, the checkered side, it's just straight squares and straight lines. So if you do run into an issue where you need to cut a little bit off either side, you're not gonna mess anything up because at the end when you add vinyl strips over them, it's just straight vinyl vinyl lines. So no matter if you have to cut some of, some of that uh, decal off, it's still going to line up. I hope that what I'm saying is making sense. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing. You guys want to go slow when you remove the backing because you don't want to accidentally peel up any of that stuff. You know, remember this is a template, it's a cut file, so it's designed so that you can peel things up. You don't want to accidentally peel up pieces that you want to keep on your tumbler. And then I went ahead and I cut the decal for my checkered side and I was off a little bit on the way I was sizing it so I just went in with my scissors and cut a little bit but like I mentioned before not a huge deal because you're just you're just going to do straight squares there and that's going to be easy to cover with your vinyl lines. Now I didn't have any white spray paint which is why this tumbler is not base painted white. I know that a lot of people go directly over a white tumbler and start to apply their glitter that's totally okay me personally i know it's a little bit more tedious and it's a little bit more time but i do like to base paint every single area to match the color of glitter i have found that it makes the glitter pop and be a lot more vibrant i actually showed a comparison the other day in my baddie app and i gave an example and i showed everybody and the difference in the vibrancy of the colors is just totally recommend taking that extra step and base painting so that it'll match your glitter colors but totally optional there is no right or wrong way we just all have preferences i did a lot of this tutorial in time lapses because it's a very long process and i feel like it's 
you know, once I tell you the steps, it's pretty self-explanatory, especially because you get to see what I'm doing. I didn't want to turn this into a 45-minute tutorial, so that's why we're moving through this a little bit quickly. Now, once you have base painted on your swirl sides and you've got that done, you want to come remove every other square on the checkered side, okay? And then when you get to the line underneath the previous one, you want to remove every other square but you want to make them opposites so that instead of removing a square that's right above another square you've got you know this checkered pattern that you guys see me doing my mind kept playing tricks on me and I did mess up a few times but you know I, I pulled it together now you're going to see me do a, a step that's not necessary which is paint every square white like I mentioned before I didn't have white spray paint to start off with a white tumbler to begin with. So I base painted white so that my paints could be a lot more vibrant. So that I could paint my yellows and my pinks and all of that on top of it. I like using chalk paints because they dry a lot faster. I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope that a lot of you end up doing this design. I designed these templates on my iPad and I taught this class live in my Batty app on Wednesday. We had a lot of fun. We got to, you know, people got to work along with me and ask me questions in real time. And it was just nice for them to see me working, you know, there live. And we were all working together and crafting together. And I was excited to know that a lot of the baddies were also working on the same design while they were watching. So, but, you know, I wanted to take a moment and share this with you guys as well. So hopefully you are enjoying and taking advantage of the fact that I will be providing these templates for free in the description in my bio. That is something that I usually do for Batty University. So if you guys are interested in joining Batty University, you guys will have access to a whole bunch of free files, a, free, a bunch of free templates, and like I mentioned before, a live class every week on new designs where we work in real time. If you guys want to join and hang out, there's a lot more things the app offers. My channel and myself, we would appreciate the support. I sound like a commercial and that's not what I mean to. For a limited time offer now, <laughs> I'll show you a butt cheek if you join my app. <laughs> Sorry that you guys can hear Morgan laughing. She's here visiting <laughs> and she's laughing at my voiceover, which is letting me know that I am funny. Okay, so um, you guys can paint your squares in whatever color you choose. I wanted to add a whole bunch of different colors because I wanted just that like rainbow neon vibes. So I did one line, one color, the next line, another color, etc., etc. And I just followed the pattern of the checkered. So once I painted all my neon colors, the squares that were left in between each other color, I came in and I did them like a very beautiful silver, silver holographic. And originally, I was going to leave the vinyl, the floral vinyl strips in between my rainbow lines to bring that floral design down. But I decided to get crazy and do a little more of that silver glitter. And I love how it ended up turning out. But remember, guys, you can make this design your own. So if you wanted to leave those floral vinyl strips, you 100% could have done that. I was going to, but then I changed my mind and I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm just, I'm in love with this glitter. This is called Las Estrellas by Maestro Creations and I freaking love it. It's, it's so beautiful. So this is my outcome. I went ahead and sealed it and epoxied it. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys because that's just who I am. You're not going to get a lie from me. I did not seal my glitter very well, which never happens to me, but it has happened to me a lot in the past week. So I contaminated my vinyl and a lot of people were like, it's fine. The glitter looks fine. No, it would bother me forever. <laughs> and I did have a little like glitter contaminate here and there, but not a lot. My vinyl strips ended up covering anything that may have contaminated, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand the tumbler, make sure to get it nice and smooth. Okay, and mind you, so far I only have one coat of epoxy over this, and that is a total of 30 mLs. 15 of A, 15 of B, and I'm already going into sand. That's just to remove any little lumps or bumps. There really weren't much, but you know, before I apply vinyl, I just always want to make sure that there's no imperfections in the epoxy because they'll show underneath the vinyl. 
So what I did after I sanded it was I went ahead and I washed my tumbler and then I simply recut my floral template again so that I could come back and replace that floral piece on top and cover up the piece of vinyl that got contaminated with glitter. Guys, I recently switched sealers. I started using Mod Podge acrylic sealer and it has messed up a few of my cups. <laughs> Um, it, it worked, it's worked great on some cups and then on some other cups, I've got them under epoxy and then realized my glitter was moving. That never happened to me before when I was using a different product. So I think I'm going to continue to search for a sealer because, mm, yeah. <laughs> All right. So to cover up the mistake, you know, where I contaminated my vinyl, like I mentioned, I'm just going to use the exact same template because I saved it just keeping the exact same dimensions. And I just cut that top piece out again and I replaced it over. You would never know that there was another one underneath and that there was a mistake. So I could have lied to you guys. I mean, truly, truly, I didn't have to come clean. But boo, am I a liar? Never. I'm not a liar. I'm a lot of things. <laughs> but not a liar. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys that Pretty much every mistake can be fixed, okay? The only things that can't be fixed is once you go to Taco Bell, that you can't undo the damage that's going to do to the toilet at night. That's, <laughs> you can't fix that, right, Boo? No, you got to no, no, no. gotta let that run its course. I really like having Morgan chiming in. It makes me feel like I have an audience, kind of like on Ellen DeGeneres. It's like a live audience. Right, right. Like when you laugh at my jokes, I'm like, wow, I really am funny. They hold up the cart. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now. so baddies this is the part where i was talking about that the third and final template you need to make sure that you sized it accordingly because you're going to cut those vinyl swirls and you're going to come in and place them in between each color i don't want to brag but i did cut everything to perfect size as you can see here where i'm flawlessly and expertly expertly is a word I have seen in my books a lot recently so it's my new word I am expertly applying my vinyl <laughs> um that is a piece of washi tape two different pieces of washi tapes I wanted this cup to be over the top I wanted it to be everything that you could ever dream of that's why you're seeing me do so much and here is the final product after the last coat of epoxy I sealed it with 30 mls this is how it turned out I love it. I'm obsessed. I hope you love it. And I'll see you again next Saturday. Thank you for being here. Besitos.